Are you ready for a new video? Today, we will take you on a journey to Uzbekistan, the most affordable destination in Central Asia. This country is home to warm-hearted and friendly people and charming women. Before we explore this perfect place, I have a question for you. Where are you from? Have you ever visited Uzbekistan? Do you have any stories you'd like to share? Please comment below and let's chat together. 1. Overview of Uzbekistan Uzbekistan, officially known as the Republic of Uzbekistan, is a country of great contrasts and immense natural beauty, nestled in the heart of Central Asia. Covering an impressive 448,978 square kilometers, Uzbekistan is the 56th largest country in the world. This landlocked gem borders Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, and Turkmenistan, each adding to its rich cultural tapestry. Home to approximately 35 million people, Uzbekistan stands as the most populous nation in Central Asia. Tashkent, the capital, is a bustling metropolis with around 3 million residents. Historically a pivotal trading post during the Soviet era, today's Tashkent is a vibrant blend of old and new, where ancient history meets modernity. From the arid stretches of the Kizilkum Desert to the fertile valleys of the Fergana Valley, Uzbekistan's diverse landscapes are as varied as its culture. The east and northeast are dominated by the majestic Tian Shan and Pamir mountain ranges, offering stunning vistas and a haven for adventurers. While the Aral Sea has sadly shrunk over the years, it remains a crucial area for environmental study. Uzbekistan's soil is not only fertile, but also mineral-rich. It ranks as the 10th largest gold producer worldwide, with a contribution of 100 tons to the global market in the year 2023. The nation's land also yields other treasures like uranium, supporting a vibrant mining sector. Agriculturally, Uzbekistan is a powerhouse, ranking eighth globally in cotton production with 590,000 tons harvested in the year 2022 to 2023 crop year. The country also boasts substantial natural resources, including natural gas, oil, and coal, with natural gas production positioning Uzbekistan among the top producers in the region. As we approach the historical significance of Uzbekistan, how secure can one feel in a country with such a tumultuous past? Stay tuned. 2. History Dive into the history of Uzbekistan. Once the heart of the Silk Road has always been a melting pot of cultures and commerce, this legendary trade route, stretching from China to Europe, turned cities like Samarkand and Bukhara into bustling centers as early as the first millennium BC. These cities weren't just marketplaces, they were vibrant hubs where goods, ideas, and religions intertwined seamlessly. In the early centuries AD, Uzbekistan found itself under the sway of the Persian Empire, absorbing cultural and architectural influences that remain visible today. The conquests of Alexander the Great later brought Greek cultural influences to the region, weaving a complex tapestry of East meets West. The historical significance of Uzbekistan grew further under the rule of Genghis Khan, though his reign brought both prosperity and destruction. Following him, Amir Timur, also known as Tamerlane, ascended to power, heralding a golden age. A patron of the arts and a visionary leader, Timur transformed Samarkand into a cultural capital. Under his rule, the first madrasas recognized by UNESCO were built like the Rajasthan madrasas in Samarkand, cementing the region's reputation as a center of Islamic learning. Transitioning into modern times, Uzbekistan declared independence from the Soviet Union in the year 1991, emerging as a proud and sovereign nation. Today, cities like Tashkent, Bukhara, and Samarkand are not just historical treasures, but are also popular with expatriates and retirees. 3. Retirement Visa Planning your move to Uzbekistan is hassle-free when it comes to paperwork. Most tourists can enter Uzbekistan easily, but if you're looking to stay longer or retire, you'll be pleased to know about the S-1 visa. 
This special retirement visa is designed for foreign pensioners. To qualify, you need to show that you are receiving a pension from your home country. This proves that you have a steady income to support your life here. Additionally, ensure you have valid health insurance and a clean criminal record. The S-1 visa is valid for one year, but fear not. It can be renewed annually, provided you continue to meet the requirements. All right, we've just explored some of the fascinating aspects of this country. If you're impressed with this country or excited about visiting Uzbekistan, please comment beautiful country so I can see your thoughts. It's motivation for us to continue producing even more quality videos for you. 4. Country Worth Living In Uzbekistan is a vibrant tapestry of culture and tradition, rooted deeply in Central Asian values, with a modern twist. Officially speaking, Uzbek and Russian are the primary languages here. Over 90% of the population practices Islam, showcasing the country's rich Islamic heritage. Yet, unlike some of its neighbors, Uzbekistan's society reflects more of the cultural norms seen in Kazakhstan and Russia, rather than Arab states. Despite its proximity to Afghanistan, which might raise safety concerns, let me restate those fears. Uzbekistan is widely recognized for its stability and safety, boasting impressively low crime rates. The government maintains a tight security network, ensuring a peaceful and secure environment for both locals and expatriates. Since the year 2017, under President Shavkat Mirziyoyev, Uzbekistan has been undergoing significant economic reforms, which have liberalized the economy. The government has scaled back its involvement in many sectors, bettered the business environment, and drawn foreign investments. These changes have propelled economic growth and bolstered job prospects, vital factors that enhance livability. The healthcare system here is growing stronger each year, with investments from the government aiming to reach Western standards. While it's not there yet, healthcare in Uzbekistan is more than adequate for routine medical needs. Culturally, Uzbekistan is a treasure. Cities like Samarkand, Bukhara, and Kiva are adorned with stunning architecture and are proud UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This not only makes Uzbekistan a fascinating place to live, but also boosts its economy through tourism, benefiting both locals and expatriates engaged in related industries. Visa regulations have relaxed significantly in recent years, making it easier for tourists and potential expatriates to enter Uzbekistan. The introduction of e-visas and visa-free entry for citizens of many countries has made this gem of Central Asia accessible to a broader audience. And if you're earning in American dollars, you're in for a treat. Converting even $100 here will give you stacks of Uzbek sums, enhancing your purchasing power to live like royalty. Curious about the cultural and architectural treasures that make Uzbekistan a UNESCO World Heritage Site? We're about to take a closer look at the elements that not only define its heritage, but also enhance the living experience for its residents and visitors. 5. Cost of Living If you've been searching for a place where your savings not only last longer, but can provide you with a luxurious lifestyle, then Uzbekistan should be on your radar. Renting a charming one-bedroom apartment right in the bustling city center of Uzbek City, you'd pay just about $250 to $300 each month. Now consider the same scenario in the U.S., where you'd typically spend around $1,500 a month, and even more in metropolitan hubs like New York or San Francisco. Let's talk about groceries. A basic grocery basket that would set you back about $100 in the States is yours for just $30 in Uzbekistan. A hearty meal at a cozy restaurant costs between $3 to $5, and a sumptuous three-course meal at a nicer establishment is just $10 to $15. Across the ocean in the U.S., you'd be paying $15 to $20 for a simple meal and anywhere from $45 to $70 for a three-course feast. Transportation in Uzbekistan is unbelievably affordable as well. A monthly public transport pass is just $8 to $10. Compare this to the U.S., where similar passes start from $70 and can exceed $100 in major cities. Utility costs including electricity, heating, 
cooling, water, and garbage disposal in Uzbekistan are between $30 to $50 per month. In stark contrast, the average American pays between $100 to $200 each month for these services. Even internet service in Uzbekistan is a bargain at $10 to $15 for a reliable broadband connection versus the U.S. starting rate of $50. Healthcare is another area where Uzbekistan offers incredible value. The costs for doctor visits and basic medical procedures are substantially lower than in the U.S., making it an ideal spot for retirees or anyone interested in cost-effective healthcare management. So, wrapping up, living in Uzbekistan, a single person could manage monthly expenses excluding rent for about $200 to $300. In the U.S., maintaining a similar lifestyle could cost at least $1,000. This significant cost difference makes Uzbekistan not only a financially wise choice but also a fantastic opportunity to enjoy a new culture and lifestyle. 6. Women Uzbekistan sits at the historical crossroads of ancient trade routes, blending a tapestry of cultural influences that shape its local ethos. The women of Uzbekistan exemplify grace and resilience, drawing from a society that values deep family ties and prioritizes lifelong learning. They carry a striking appearance, with their high cheekbones, almond-shaped eyes, and lush hair, a mesmerizing blend of Eastern European and Asian traits that captivates at first glance. But there's much more to these women than their physical attributes. Celebrated for their loyalty and cultural sophistication, Uzbek women are often multilingual, fluent in Russian, and increasingly proficient in English, making it easier for expatriates to communicate and connect. Imagine a woman with the intellectual charm of celebrated author Elif Shafak and the entrepreneurial spirit of top fashion icons. This blend of beauty, brains, and ambition positions Uzbek women as partners who enrich relationships profoundly contributing equally to the relationship's depth and growth. While we explore these personal traits, it's crucial to approach each individual with respect for their unique stories and achievements, avoiding the trap of idealization. In Uzbekistan, the emphasis on family and community and relationships offers a refreshing contrast to the more individualistic approaches seen elsewhere providing a beautiful opportunity to learn and grow within diverse interpersonal dynamics. Now, let's talk about a standout tradition in Uzbekistan, the Nikah ceremony. This solemn yet celebratory affair marks the spiritual and legal union of a couple, often performed in a mosque by an imam. The ceremony is a profound declaration of commitment under Islamic law, observed by family and friends, as the couple vows their dedication to each other. The celebrations culminate with the palav ceremony, where palav, a traditional dish of rice, meat, carrots, and onions, is cooked in large quantities. This feast is not merely about enjoying delicious food, it's a communal celebration that honors the guests and the union of the newlyweds. Known for bringing prosperity and health, cooking palav is regarded as an art integral to the wedding festivities. Modern Uzbek weddings beautifully integrate these age-old customs with contemporary elements. It's not unusual to see modern pop music and traditional folk dances performed side by side, showcasing a harmonious blend of the past and present in Uzbek culture. For those of you considering a move or finding love in Uzbekistan, understanding and experiencing these traditions firsthand can deeply enrich your connection to this vibrant culture. These aren't just rituals, they embody the heart and soul of Uzbek life, highlighting the importance of family, community, and heritage. Stick around to discover how you can indulge in sumptuous local dishes like shish kebabs for less than the cost of a coffee in Europe. 7. Culinary Culture and People As we explore this vibrant country, you'll quickly notice the bustling bazaars and markets, where the aroma of freshly baked bread fills the air. Uzbekistan offers an array of breads, each with a unique flavor profile that's sure to tantalize your taste buds. You can indulge in these delightful loaves for just about $1 each. It's a stark contrast to European prices, making every bite not only delicious, but also economical. 
As we delve deeper into the local cuisine, you'll find that meat dishes dominate the culinary scene. Imagine savoring a succulent shish kebab, grilled to perfection, for merely $3. The affordability of high-quality meat in Uzbekistan is unmatched, making it a paradise for food lovers on a budget. While wandering through the lively markets, you'll encounter vendors who eagerly make eye contact and offer you free samples of their offerings. This isn't just a marketing tactic, it's a testament to the pride they take in their products and a genuine attempt to welcome you into their culinary world. Such gestures are a reflection of the legendary Uzbek hospitality, which is woven deeply into the fabric of their culture. Uzbek people are known for their warmth and friendliness, traits that you'll experience firsthand in these communal hubs. The markets themselves, vast and vibrant, bear a striking resemblance to those you might find in Mongolia, with their lively stall appearances and the overall bustling atmosphere. As you stroll through these markets, you'll see the sparkle in the locals' eyes, a sparkle that reflects a genuine joy in sharing their culture with you. It's this connection that makes a visit to Uzbekistan not just a trip, but a journey into the heart of a rich and welcoming culture. It's crucial to recognize that while Uzbekistan is largely welcoming and safe, like any popular tourist spot, there are those who may seek to exploit unwary travelers. For instance, you might find taxi drivers who could charge up to three times the standard fare if they recognize you as a tourist. Similarly, in historical cities like Bukhara and Samarkand, where museum entry is typically free, you may come across individuals posing as officials who insist on an entry fee. Additionally, in souvenir shops, prices might be quoted much higher than what is fair. This isn't unique to Uzbekistan, it's a common challenge across global travel destinations, and it's akin to a mental game, where being unprepared can cost you. To navigate this, I strongly recommend connecting with a local guide. Engaging someone who knows the area not only enriches your experience, but also safeguards against potential scams. A local guide can help ensure that you pay fair prices and gain authentic insights into the places you visit. Despite these challenges, the hospitality in Uzbekistan remains remarkable. The warmth with which locals greet tourists is heartening. No matter where you come from, you'll find that Uzbeks are thrilled to share the beauty of their homeland with visitors. This is especially true in rural areas, where local families might invite you into their homes, offer you a meal, and treat you with incredible generosity, truly making you feel at home. 8. Cuisine That delights seasonal tips and evening entertainment. One cannot simply talk about Uzbekistan without praising its unique culinary scene. Imagine starting your day with a steaming cup of tea. Here, tea isn't just a beverage, it's a way of life. Locals cherish both black and green teas, often enhanced with a slice of lemon or other aromatics. And for those with adventurous palates, horse meat and kumis, a fermented dairy product, are staples you might encounter in every household. If you visit an Uzbek home, remember, it's customary to remove your shoes at the entrance, showing respect to the host's traditions. If you're thinking of making friends in Uzbekistan, knowing Russian could be your golden ticket, especially in Tashkent, the bustling capital where Russian is widely spoken. However, brace yourself for the climate. Summers here can be intensely hot, with temperatures soaring above 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The best time to visit? Between August and November, when the climate is more forgiving, and the bountiful harvest brings nuts and fruits to the markets at very reasonable prices. As the sun sets, Cities like Bukhara, Samarkand, and Tashkent burst into life. Picture this, dining outdoors while watching a mesmerizing performance by Uzbek dancers, their traditional costumes glittering under the evening lights. This scene captures the essence of Central Asian grace and artistry, distinctly different and perhaps more enchanting than any European counterpart. Before we explore more aspects of this country, I have a special 10-second request for all of you to listen. If you could help me out in any way, just hitting that subscribe button would mean a lot. It supports this channel greatly. And if you do that for me, I promise my team, 
and I will do everything possible to make this show even more amazing for you. Do we have a deal? 9. Transport and Industry The Chevrolet Phenomenon Post a significant earthquake in the year 1966, Tashkent was rebuilt with charming low-rise buildings predominantly featuring two-room apartments, now a common accommodation type. These typically measure around 750 square feet. Interestingly, recent geopolitical events have led to a surge in demand for these apartments, pushing rental prices to at least $500, a steep increase yet affordable compared to many Western cities. Stepping out into the streets, you'll notice an overwhelming presence of Chevrolet vehicles. This is no coincidence. Uzbekistan's strategic alliance with Chevrolet has made these vehicles widely accessible and affordable, transforming the country's automotive landscape. The popularity of Chevrolet in Uzbekistan is further supported by government policies that encourage the purchase of locally produced vehicles through tax breaks and incentives. This not only supports the domestic automotive industry, but also boosts Chevrolet's sales. Moreover, the brand has built a strong community among its users in Uzbekistan creating a sense of belonging and mutual support among Chevrolet owners. This community aspect, coupled with the brand's reputation for reliability and performance, has solidified its status as a top choice for many vehicle buyers in the country. The substantial market share of Chevrolet in Uzbekistan is also reflected in the latest market reports, with Chevrolet leading the brand rankings in terms of sales. Soon we'll reveal why Pilaf isn't just a meal in Uzbekistan, it's a masterpiece. But first, let's dive deeper into other aspects of Uzbek cuisine that make it a food lover's paradise. 10. Sports, a hub of art and history and pilaf. In rural heartlands, horseback riding and equestrian sports are not just pastimes, but are woven into the fabric of daily life. The people of Uzbekistan are passionate about preserving the rich tapestry of their culture, handed down through generations, this connection to their heritage is vividly expressed through their culinary practices. Meat is a staple, often seen in their traditional dishes like the famous Uzbek pilaf, a hearty feast that blends lamb with peas, dried grapes, and a touch of garlic, reflecting the depth of Uzbek cuisine. Moreover, the artistry of Uzbekistan extends beyond its food. The country is renowned for its handcrafted carpets, sought after worldwide for their exquisite craftsmanship. These carpets, vibrant with history and culture, are sold to eager tourists at very competitive prices, making them a beautiful yet affordable treasure. For lovers of history and architecture, the ancient city of Kiva is a must visit. Preserved since the sixth century, Kiva is a time capsule of architectural splendor, free from the encroachments of modern buildings. The city's craftsmen produce goods that resonate with its historical charm, capturing the essence of this unique cultural haven. Uzbekistan is not only a land of historical richness, but also a vibrant center of commerce. For instance, the covered market in Tashkent, resembling a dome or a tortoise shell when viewed from above, is the beating heart of the city's daily commerce. Here, vendors are eager to share samples of local delicacies like Samarkand halva, or the tangy cheese known as kurt, enticing shoppers with a taste of their quality products. The art of bread making in Uzbekistan is elevated to a spiritual ritual. In places like Tashkent and Samarkand, bakers dedicate themselves to producing the perfect loaf, diving deep into traditional clay ovens to craft bread that is not only delicious, but also a symbol of their unwavering commitment to quality. But it's not just about bread. Uzbekistan's culinary scene is famously meat-centric, with dishes that boast a rich assortment of meats, including beef, lamb, and even horse meat. In fact, the Uzbeks pride themselves on being the unrivaled kings of pilaf preparation, starting their days early to cook massive quantities of this beloved dish in huge cauldrons, ensuring every ingredient melds perfectly under their watchful eyes. The preparation of pilaf is an art form here. Meat is first browned to perfection, then simmered with carrots and chickpeas before being topped with rice that absorbs the vibrant colors and flavors of the ingredients. 
the final dish isn't just a meal, it's a masterpiece that captures the essence of Uzbek culinary pride. Despite the allure of these rich dishes, there is concern about the health impacts of such a meat-heavy diet, particularly among the elderly. Some locals argue that it's not the meat, but the oils used in cooking that might contribute to health issues. Nevertheless, the traditional methods of cooking, often in closed ovens, are believed to enhance the flavors of their cuisine, making every bite worth the indulgence. 11. Modern Challenges and Opportunities A walk through Tashkent reveals a fascinating blend of Soviet heritage and modernity. You'll find the enduring charm of Soviet-era playgrounds tucked away in the quieter streets, a nostalgic reminder of the country's historical ties. The influence of Russia remains palpable, not only in the architecture, but also in the bilingual signs throughout the city, where both Uzbek and Russian languages feature prominently. Interestingly, the local culture has welcomed influences from the West as well, with global retail chains gradually making their mark. Yet amidst this progress, some sights can be heart-wrenching, such as children begging on the streets, a stark contrast to the city's developing facade. For a truly unique local spectacle, keep an eye out for the colorfully painted pigeons in the streets of Tashkent. Initially, these vibrant birds might seem like a different species, but they are actually part of an inventive local enterprise, adding a quirky twist to the urban landscape. Transportation in Tashkent is anchored by its historic metro system, the first in Central Asia, launched in the year 1977. The metro stations, known for their stunning Soviet-era designs, are not just transit points, but works of art, captivating both locals and tourists alike. For longer distances within the country, trains are the preferred mode of transportation, staffed by personnel who take great pride in their service. However, economic challenges persist. The minimum monthly wage in Uzbekistan is about $320, while ordinary workers may earn around $500. This economic reality drives many young Uzbeks to seek better opportunities abroad. Despite these challenges, Uzbekistan offers an enriching experience with its diverse culture and delectable cuisine, making it an attractive destination for those looking to enjoy a rich cultural experience on a budget. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to the Discover Globe channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.